Good morning and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. Today's recipe will be, well, before I get into the recipe, good morning everyone and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. And to my new subscribers, I would like to take the time to thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing to my channel. Okay, so thank you and welcome to Joanne's YouTube family. And for those of you that's strolling through YouTube and you're watching this channel for the very first time, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. I would really appreciate it and I thank you in advance. Okay, so let's get started. Today's recipe, I'm cooking my dinner before it's time for me to go to work. So I got two recipes for you. Now everything that I'm cooking is not going to be a part of the recipe, but you're welcome to copy it, okay? Um, so I'm having ranch pork chops, I'm doing potatoes, and I'm doing, I bought store-bought potatoes, because they are ready. I, I, I bought store-bought potatoes, and I'm, doing, I'm having broccoli on the side. And for dessert, since all our Thanksgiving dessert is gone, I'm doing a banana um, pudding poke cake. Okay? And I'm going to show y'all because that is going to be so good. It's going to be so tasty. I thought that banana pudding was good. And I hope somebody made a banana pudding. I ain't heard nobody say they made a banana pudding. That banana pudding is the bomb. It's good. Now, this is going to be a banana pudding poke cake. It's going to be twice as good. I'm telling you, okay? So, we're going to get in this start. We're going to get started. And I'm going to show you the ingredients that you're going to need for this pork for this ranch pork chops. Of course, you're going to need the main ingredient, pork chops. So, we're going to get started. I'm going to put everything over here. And I'm going to show you guys what you need for this recipe. So, we can get this thing moving right along. Okay, first you're gonna need some kosher salt. Let me go this the right one. I'm gonna make sure this was open. So kosher salt, you're gonna need some black pepper. Now, if you don't use kosher salt, feel free to use the salt that you use, okay? Because everybody's not a kosher salt. Sea salt, pink salt, whatever kind of salt you use, um, use it, okay? Black pepper and parsley flakes. Now, if you're going to do this recipe to the exact, you can switch out your sauce if you don't use kosher salt. But do use the black pepper and the parsley. Okay. Now, when I do um, ranch pork chops, let me look at y'all for a second. Now, when I do my ranch pork chops, I do them in a pack. You know, the ranch pack where you can make the salad dressing with. Okay. I, you know, sprinkle a little bit on there. I got tired of doing it that way. So, you know me. I'm always trying to think outside the box. I need to cut that darn heat off. Shit, it's a cut. I'm in here sweating. Um, we had a cold night last night, y'all. So the heater was underneath the heater because it was cold and another cold day. So, um, oh, what I was saying. Okay, so when I do the ranch pork chops, I do the seasoning pack. Okay. I usually do the seasoning pack, but today I'm doing it with the ranch dressing, okay? Because I want to do it another way. So this is going to be my way, okay? So let me get you back over here. So I'm going to I'm gonna take these two bowls, and I'm going to take this, um... I'm going to open up this ranch. I already got my oven on to 350. And I went to Publix this morning and I was looking. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit. I ain't gonna use the whole bottle because I don't gonna see how much it's gonna take. So, and I was looking for the Japanese um breadcrumbs. It used to come in another box. And I'm used to that box. So the man was like, I asked him, I said, y'all don't sell them no more because I don't see them. And I went to Publix because I know Publix used to sell them. Wendy's and Walmart. But I went to Publix and I didn't see them. So these panko plain bird comes just like the other ones I have. Then I looked on the back and said, they ain't easy. It's Japanese style. But they just don't look right up. Some The other one was more firm and more crunchy and a little bit thicker. You know what I'm saying? So in this bowl, I have my ranch. Now I'm going to pour some breadcrumbs into the second bowl. And then we're going to season them. See, it do look, look like. Okay. Now, if your season fall off doing this, 
it's all good because um it's gonna end up going back home anyway you know what i mean because when you get down to that where well, we did the this stuff it's gonna end up getting right back on the um pork chops so my pork chops is has been washed and dried so now i'm gonna start my seasoning process process they have been washed and clean i'm sorry so i'm just gonna take a paper towel and i'm just gonna try to pat them dry And these are bone-in pork chops. Now you can do these with bone-in or boneless. I don't too much buy any boneless pork chops, but they'll probably be good with boneless pork chops. You can either way, pork chop is pork chop. To me anyway. So I just got, let me put this right here and put a little bit more water. Because you want to get these as dry as possible. Because I don't want any water going into the, or any bloody water going into the ranch. So I just make sure the front. And you just use how many paper towels you need to get them to where they're dry. You know what I mean? Okay. So, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and spread on my, on my pork chops, okay? Now I'm gonna season this with some kosher salt. This one just gonna tow up. And I'm doing the front and the back of these. Okay, now I'm using the black pepper. So y'all, I went to the store, like I said this morning, I went to Publix. Now when I ain't got no money, I'm a budget friendly mama top. But when I got money, I splurge a little bit. So I needed some vanilla wafers to go with my um, banana pudding. Pork cake I'm making, right? I picked up the vanilla wafer. Them vanilla wafer was $3 and some change on those $4. So now I'm using parsley. I looked over or down. And I seen the Publix brand, no the no name brand, for a dollar and some chain. I stick that right on in the buggy. Then I needed the Cool Whip. So I always get the name brand Cool Whip, you know, the, uh, the one in the blue container with the red and the white. You know what I'm talking about. I used that. That was $3.00. And some change almost four. I looked over in the freezer next door. I was uh, in the same freezer because it was up above. And I seen it was down below, I mean. And I seen this. The original. So it don't matter because Cool Whip is Cool, cool Whip. This was only like a dollar and some change. When I ain't got it, I'm budget friendly.
okay. So that's it for that. So let's take, and I'm, I'm going to put my pans, let me get my um, pan here so I can lay them on the pan. On the pan. Now my pan has been washed out. Let me just dry it a little bit. Now, I'm just going to take my pans and just layer it on top. I mean my um. Shoot my pork chop. Okay, so we're going to start with, we need the pork chop, then the ranch, and then the, um, the breadcrumbs. So I want y'all to be able to see this. Okay. So, here's my pork chop. Going into my ranch. I'm going to shake off the excess. At least I'm going to try to because this is not, it's kind of adhering to it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of sticky to it. And then we're going to do it like this. Now you want to mash those breadcrumbs down in there. My husband was like, I ain't never had no pork chops this way. I'm like, I ain't either, babe. But I'm doing it. And y'all, I just did this recipe today. It's my first time doing this recipe, okay? I was thinking last night. And then we're just going to layer, layer like that right there on top of the arm. Um, See how it look after we done um, put the breadcrumb on it? Let me get y'all a close-up. Okay, that's what the breadcrumb. Take it, dip it in the ranch, put the breadcrumb on it, and put it in the pan. Okay, oh, I got to take that up because I ain't sprayed my pan. So you want to make sure you be done sprayed your pan. Okay, so let me get me some spray right quick and spray this pan. So we're going to move right along. And I'm going to put them in the oven at 350. And I'm going to cook them until they're done. Which it don't take long for pork chops to, um, to bake. And you can, you can spray the pork chop too. Okay, so we're going to move this right along. So yep, yeah, you might need, you're not needing that whole thing of, I hope I got, um, a mustard, I mean of um, ranch because it's going to take it. So I think I got some more bottles in there in case I run, if I run out. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So just take it and pat it on and be sure to push down on your um, breadcrumbs. Push them down into the meat. Then if the excess fall off, it's okay.
Okay, yeah, I'm trying to go fast, but I want to make sure everything's good and coated. And you know, you just add your breadcrumbs and your um, ranch as you need it. Last night I was sitting at work and I was saying, what am I going to cook today? Because we had some of the ribs and the cabbage left over and I knew that was going to be the end of it last night when I came home. And I took some to work and then they ate what was left. So... I said, well, I'll do some pork chops. I'll do some ranch pork chops. I said, but I don't want to do no ranch pork chops with the seasoning. Sure, I'm always doing them like that. I need to try something different. So, I ain't seen nobody do it this way. And you know, I be trying to do stuff different. Bread comes down looking a little bit wet. You need more fresh ones, okay? And I need some more ranch in here because I'm getting low. So I ain't seen nobody do it this way. So I said, I'm going to do it with the ranch instead of using the um the powder like I've been doing. I'm going to step it up with the ranch salad dressing. That should be good. And I just can picture a recipe in my mind and just do it. And just imagine the outcome of it. And that's what I did for this. Sitting there work last night thinking about these ranch pork chops. I gotta look and see if I got some more bread crumbs. So I'm adding in a little bit more. This is all of the ranch for this one. And I even got the public's name brand ranch. So let me look in here and see if I got any more ranch. Okay, here's another little small bottle, a little great value this time. So Okay, that's it for that. Okay, I got a few more. Two more pieces and we'll be done. About three more pieces. Y'all be sure to press it on now. Okay, I'll make it. I got three more, two more pieces after this. I'm 
So as you can see, you're going to need your breadcrumbs and your ranch. Just make sure you have enough breadcrumbs for this recipe and you have enough ranch. Depends on how many you're making. If you're making less than 10, then one bottle should do it. And see, it's, it's starting to get wet and don't want to stick, but just press it down. I'm going to have to look and probably see if I got any more. But I got one left. Okay. I'm gonna pull this out. Now this will be it for the breadcrumbs because I done ran out of breadcrumbs. Luckily, I had um, some extras here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one, this little piece right here. And then I'm going to go back and do that big one. If I have enough. So I think this is going to be it. Okay. Just get some in there between these cracks. I don't want it to be. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that one out because I don't want it to be too caked up like that. All right. So, there we have the pork chops all bread. So, I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to spray, spray the top of them with the vegetable oil and I'm going to put them in the oven. And we're going to get started on the next recipe. And then after this get done, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. After it all comes together, okay? So I'm just going to spray them with some of the pork. 
um the vegetable oil spray. Okay, into my 350 degree oven they go. All right, I'm gonna turn your attention back over this way. I'm gonna clean up my mess here. And we're gonna get started on the cake meat. I'm show you guys what we need for this cake meat. Okay, for the cake mix, you will need, can you guys see that? Okay, so for the cake mix, for the banana um, pudding poke cake, you will need a yellow cake mix, okay? You will need three eggs. One cup of water, and this is all going in the cake mix, and you're going to need a half a cup of vegetable oil, which we're going to put in. Now for the vanilla pudding, you're going to need two boxes of banana cream pudding. You're going to need some vanilla wafers. You're going to need two bananas, and you're going to need some um, whipped topping cream, okay? So let's get started. We're going to make the cream first where that just can sit just a little bit, okay? Because we do want it to get... We want it to get a little stiff, but it ain't got to be all the way stiff. And then this banana cream pole cake, now, you guys, it's going to go in the oven. I mean, it's going to go in the refrigerator. Okay? So you're going to keep that in the refrigerator. So I have my dish here for the cake that we're going to do. And I'm just going to take the time. I'm just going to spray my pan, okay? So I done did that, so I ain't got to worry about doing that. So let me get a bowl where we can mix this stuff up. So according to the package directions, I need um, two package pudding mix, mix, two third cups of milk. So I went ahead and got the mixer. Cause I need to get through so we can go ahead and do the cake while it's sick.
Okay. So it's getting there, y'all. So I'm just gonna let this sit until we finish with um until and let it thicken up a little bit on its own, okay? But I just needed to help the process a little bit. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the cake, and then I'm gonna put the cake in the oven, I'm gonna cut it off, then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next, you guys. Okay, so we don't need the bananas right now, so we're going to take this cake mix. Let's open this cake mix up. So for this cake mix, we're going to need three eggs, one cup of water, and a half a cup of vegetable oil. Okay, I'm putting in my three eggs. Okay, I'm gonna do my vegetable oil. I need a half a cup of that. So here, here's my half a cup of vegetable oil. And then we need a cup of water. And I already sprayed my um, baking dish. Okay, one cup of water. And we're gonna stir this. So our pudding gonna have time to sit because I'm gonna show you how that's gonna come into play. Just need to get this cake in the oven and get it brown. So there's our bacon dish. Can y'all still see? Well, we don't need this just yet. I'll finish this up. Make sure the egg in there is good and stirred up. Okay, I think I got everything well incorporated now. Good and combined. Okay, so we're just gonna pour this into our baking dish. Okay, so we're gonna put this into our oven at 350 degrees. Mmm, those pork chops smell good. Okay, so I'll be back with you guys, and we have our pudding here, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with our pudding 
and our vanilla wafers, our bananas, when we come back. So when, when the cake gets done, I'll be back to show you the next step, all right? I'll see you guys later. I'm going to season this with a little, now for this right here, I'm going to add in a little bit of garlic. I can't help but add garlic in when I get a chance because I love garlic. Okay, then I'm going to do with some kosher salt. And this has been nice with some peppers in it too, but I didn't, I ain't cutting up no more. Okay, a little pepper, a little black, black pepper, and I think I'm going to add some seasoning to it. I'm going to add a little bit of um, seasoning, soul food seasoning, and some garlic, and I'm going to toss it. Okay, you can take it and just spray them again. And that's it for that. Quick and simple recipe. So I'm going to put those on the top part of the oven and just until those get nice and roasted. And my dinner will be done before I go to work. Now if you want to, you can add you some cheese on top of that. I got some Parmesan cheese I started to add on top of that. But I didn't. So I don't know if I'm thinking if I want it on it or not. Okay, so I'm going to add the, par the Parmesan cheese. I might wait until it's out of the oven and then let it melt onto the um, broccoli, okay? So I'm going to put these two ingredients into the oven and when everything gets done I'll be back to show y'all what everything looks like but I'll be back before then to show you the second um step to the cake see y'all in a few shakes okay y'all I'm back and our cake is done okay our um banana I mean our pudding has set so I'm gonna take these bananas and I'm gonna slice them I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these bananas, okay? So let me move this up. So that's the first banana. And I think I'm going to cut off my little ends. Two bananas will be, you know, be enough. In case you want, if you want more bananas, then use, feel free to use more bananas. Okay, I'm going to set these bananas over to the side. Get my little ends. Okay, now I'm going to take my, my cake mix, my cake here, and you want to take your spatula, right? Take your spatula and turn it upside down and drill holes in it. But make sure you go all the way down to the bottom of the pan, okay, of the dish. So, um... You want to make big holes because you want this pudding because we're going to put this pudding in and you want this pudding to Thank you. 
You see, I need the holes open up. Because I want that to go inside. You want to feed, you want to, the pudding, the, uh, the pudding mixture got to go inside the cake. And you want all that to be nice. So I'm just putting it in here and I'm just rocking with it. Okay. Next, we could take this same spatula. I let that set. So you're just going to take your pudding and just spread it and just make sure it gets in there in those holes. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our vanilla waffles. I'm going to open some of these up. And we're going to take some and just crunch it up. And put it on top of our cake. I forgot to make sure you layer the cookies first before you do the um crunch the, the waffles okay before you crunch the waffles up layer your bananas okay now I crunch your bananas up I mean your cookies Okay, next we're going to take our whipped topping Off. So we're going to take our, our whipped topping and we're just going to add the sour cream to it like that. Just spread the sour cream on. Uh, try to very smoothly, gently spread your sour cream on.
And it's going to take the whole thing of sour cream. Of, I mean, whipped topping. Okay. So let me just clean it up a little bit. And then we're almost done. Like I said, this cake is going in the fridge. And that's where it'll remain, okay? So, after you added your whipped topping, we're going to go back, layer some bananas, Okay, and then if you want more bananas, which I use one more banana just to make it look like, you know, I'll cut another banana up. So if you want more bananas, you want more bananas than that, then you go ahead and add in. Can y'all see it real good? Then you go ahead and add in some more bananas. Okay. But y'all get the idea of it, right? And this is our last part right here. But we just crush up more. Of the cookies on top you want to leave some of the cookies whole you can and bite-sized pieces you can and that ladies and gentlemen is a banana cream um cake Okay, and then this is going to go in the refrigerator. We're going to wrap this up. So this is my banana pudding poke cake. My banana cream poke cake. I hope you guys like this recipe and do try it. It's easy to make. It's nothing hard. Like I say, there will never be nothing hard or too complicated in my kitchen. Life is complicated enough without trying to cook something that's complicated. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. So I'm just going to wrap this up. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And I will see you guys back here shortly when all my dinner gets ready. And I'll let you guys take a look. See you guys in a few. Okay, guys. Welcome back. My dinner is done. So, I'm going to go ahead and fix my plate. I'm going to start off with this really good looking banana cream pie poke cake. Banana cream pie poke cake. So, I'm going to cut myself a piece of this just to... um. To take it to work. Okay. Oh, my cake. 
have my burnt bottom of it. And I got some cake here. Mm. Too early for sweet, but it tastes good, y'all. Banana cream pie. Hold tight. So, I'm going to keep my cake in the refrigerator until... I feel a little bit more cold. But other than that, y'all, the banana and the king pie, pork cat tastes good. Okay. Now for the um the rest of the food. I let me show y'all. Here's my potatoes. So I have my potatoes here. With my peppers. Add me some broccoli. I love broccoli. And for the ranch pork chops, y'all. Okay. So this is my dinner. I have the sweet potatoes, I mean the potato, not the sweet potatoes, the potatoes with the red peppers and the yellow pepper, um, bell peppers, sweet bell peppers, red, yellow, and orange, and some green peppers and onions. Okay, and I have some broccoli over there with some, um, seasoned with salt, kosher salt, black pepper, and um, I added some garlic to that. And this is the ranch pork chops. Now, the next time I do this, I'm going to do these a little better because as you guys can see I'm bring it up close some of my crust is not sticking you see that some of my crust came off and all I did was season it with kosher salt and black pepper put a little olive oil on it season with kosher salt black pepper and parsley flakes I dipped it into the ranch um, salad dressing mix and into the panko breadcrumbs and then I baked it. Okay. Now the next time I do this recipe, so my breadcrumbs kind of adhere to my meat a little bit better. I'm just going to dredge it through, um, a wash, an egg wash with flour and then do it in the ranch dressing and then, um, try it with the breadcrumbs, with the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to try it that way and see will my... Um, breadcrumbs stick a little bit better. But see, you can see it there. But it tastes good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It tastes good. Now, this was my first time I gotta get my little pee. Making this 
This recipe. Huh? This was my first time making this recipe. With the ranch pork chops. This way. Cause I'm used to doing it with the gravy patch. But this was my first time doing it this way. And it was pretty. It was pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. But I also think, but I know it can be better. So, and it tastes good. You can taste that ranch flavor. So next time, this is my dinner for me at work. I done ate breakfast. So I gotta take this to work. Okay, that's enough of that. So the next time that I do it, I'm gonna do it with a little um I'm gonna do it with a little um wash and then put it in the, with the um the flour, the ranch, and then do the bread breadcrumbs. So but I will be doing it back with just a plain ranch. But you all, this was good. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. I thank you all for watching. Until the next recipe, God bless, and I will see you guys later.